Hello, welcome to Mark Reed 757. I'm coming back at you. Uh, it's another mm, difficult uh, weekend. Um, uh, uh, it's just, wow. What can I say? There's a little method to the madness. At least that's what I like to tell myself because let me just come out and say it. I weighed 386 on Friday. And on Sunday night, I weighed 396. Yes, that's right, 396. That is a 10-pound gain. Wow. Woo. I ate a lot. Well, that was Sunday night. I seen 396, and I go, wow. You, you who are you kidding me? 10 pounds? How much food did I have to eat to get to that 10 pounds? Granted, it's easy to gain quite a bit after you lose quite a bit. Ah. <sighs> Uh, on the good note, uh, by the time I woke up this morning, it was 393. I weighed myself again recently, and it was 391. So I'm expecting the downhill trend to work now. And this is kind of based off of what I read on the 4-Hour Work Week by Tim Ferriss, I believe his name is. And it's a terrific book I read about four or five years ago. Kind of stuck with me. You know, I'm always trying to learn, research, uh, look up different uh, methods, and and uh, I kind of twist, combine, do a little bit of my own thing because I want this to be my own thing. I, I, you know, obviously I've tried many diets like a lot of you have too, and ultimately you have to do what works for you. And hopefully this is the time, you know. I've, Granted, gaining 10 pounds and then losing a massive amount it, is different, but I guess it worked for me. You know, I, I definitely didn't want to eat anymore. I kind of just listened to my body. And your body says, hey, look, don't eat no more. And then you don't eat no more. And when it says, hey, look, I'm hungry, then you eat. That's pretty pretty easy. Um, which, what what I do is I get up. On the, in this, I'm talking about weekdays. What I do is I get up during the weekday, and I uh, eat my breakfast or uh, get a smoothie, make a smoothie, make that, and then I go work out. And then after the workout, I get a shower, and then I go to work. And after work, I, uh, I get to the work, and I get a little early all the time. So I get on Facebook, and I usually post on my uh, group page, uh, Big Time Health Now. And then I uh, do whatever I do at work, and I might have a little snack here, a little snack there, but I make sure that I stop eating around 2 or 3 p.m. So really, I don't eat a whole lot, where before, I would just eat all day. You know, all day long, from morning till night, I'd have a breakfast, lunch, dinner, and I'd be stopping at, you know, Taco Bell's, McDonald's, Burger King's, anything I could stop at, Wendy's, Chipotle, pretty much you name it, I stopped there, been there, done that all the time. Well, now that I restrict myself to two to three, I end up losing a massive amount of weight during the week. And then come Friday, I weigh myself, and at least the point, you know, last Friday it worked. Let's see what happens this Friday. Just got to stick on the schedule. And then uh, I, pl I go home after the two or three. I plan for my meals the next day. That way I'm not stopping at Burger King, McDonald's, whatever crappy place I can go to because uh, I mean I don't care what fast food you go to I mean you could make it healthy that, that's for another video and I'll talk about that later anyway uh, after a meal plan I get on YouTube that day during a typical day and I'll uh, either think about what I'm gonna what my next video is gonna be or I look other look at other inspirational videos for weight loss or health in general and I, um, you know, comment on others, and I subscribe to others all the time. And then I'll, uh, after that, I'll watch either one show on Netflix or play a little bit of Madden on PS4. Then I go to bed, and I do it all over again. But it's the weekend. The weekends are just, whew. <laughs> I guess I'm bored. I don't know. It, boredom? Wow, 10 pounds, that's something else. But hey, tune back in. Uh, I plan on talking.
talking about the difference, you know, listening to my body. You know, I, I just thought of this, uh, listening to your body and how the different foods affect me. Like when I eat these versus when I eat that. And I'll, I'll have a pretty good little piece on that um, from health foods to uh, junk foods. And we'll discuss that in the next video. See you later.